Welcome to Kama Jojo Outdoors World. Explore a collection of adorable preys and hunting supplies. The wolf is arguably the most significant animal in human history. Importantly, over 10,000 years ago, humans successfully domesticated the wolf. How this was accomplished is still a mystery. Wolves, unlike humans, do not engage in sport killing. All predators, including wolves, kill for the sole purpose of obtaining food. Partially digested corpses have been discovered on occasion. Wolves have a long-standing reputation for being gluttons who regularly kill more food than they can consume. Wolves, like many other predators, often take down more prey than they can consume in a single sitting. Many predator species have been observed engaging in the abnormal behavior of surplus killing. Having food caches to return to in the late winter increases the likelihood of wolf overkill. For sustenance, wolves will eat almost anything, though large ungulates are their favorite, such as deer, moose, and elk. Wolves lack a lethal anatomical weapon that would allow them to quickly kill large animals like bears or big cats. They were down their prey until they collapse from exhaustion as the entire pack attacks from all sides, slashing at the haunches and perineum, ripping at the legs and the gut. Although their prey is often still alive for quite some time, they start eating as soon as they catch it. Wolf prey is eaten while still alive, which may sound cruel. To begin feeding, wolves will first incapacitate their prey so that it can't get away. In some cases, it will wait for the victim to die before feasting, but this is not the norm. Wolves, when hunting moose, elk, or deer, will first bite into the victim's hamstrings and legs to render them immobile. Once the wolves have the animal cornered, they will tear off chunks of meat until they reach the intestines, which are the wolves' primary source of sustenance. However, the fact that wolves don't gorge themselves on every edible part of a carcass is intriguing. If you insist, I guess. Why bother killing a moose if you're just going to eat grass and berries? This is a question that piques the curiosity of more than just wolf biologists. Scientists have coined the term partial prey consumption to describe the widespread practice of not eating all of one's prey. Why, then, do so many animals only eat a portion of their prey? As far as ecologists are concerned, there are two potential causes. One explanation is that animals are unable to fully digest their prey and must instead settle for a partial meal. That is, a full animal won't eat everything it kills. It has taken in more than it can handle at the moment. Partial prey consumption may instead be an optimal foraging strategy, a complex, counterintuitive behavioral adaptation shaped by natural selection. When food is scarce, it makes sense to consume all of your kills in order to maximize your success. When game is relatively easy to capture, however, it's smart to save your appetite for the best cuts, or perhaps leave behind the least choice parts. After most of the carcass has been eaten, it may not be worth spending as much time and energy chewing and digesting the remaining low-quality scraps. Okay, that's the whole thing. Subscribe to us if you like what you see. Thank you.